everybody, how you doing out there? It's yours truly talking about another topic. Well, this is not really another topic. I want to talk about this uh, so-called test cam model 12, which a lot of you people don't know. In the uh, world of uh, mixing consoles today, uh, you got your name brands. You got your name brands, and this is no question about it. If you if you're a sound engineer, uh, in quotations, sound engineer, well, these these mixing consoles will be in your repertoire. Let's just say, uh, name brands. Now, if you've heard about these name brands, there's a lot of name brands out there cramming for your attention out there. I kid you not. Uh, these are these are industry uh, that uh, that you people would love to have. The days of uh, buying big mi uh, mixing consoles the size of your room uh, are long gone, as I would say. Uh, long gone. It's, uh, nowadays it's simple to buy a mixing console that doesn't take up the whole entire area. Um, the days where you go into a music studio, a big huge, you know, recording studio, big mixing boards, as soon as you get in the room, big mixing boards, uh, the size of, of the entire room. Well, in those days are long gone, as I would say. This will be like a story, long gone. Whereas today's uh, mixing consoles, you can buy one in your in your room or wherever it is, the case may be, and it'll be half the size, half the size they have in recording studios. And still does the same thing as they do in recording studios. Same thing, more features to it and more inputs to it. Um, so... They come down on price. A lot of people don't realize when you buy a mixing console, you gotta ask, when you go to a store and ask a guy, say, you need all the right features to it. Well, you need the inputs and outputs, you need the uh, faders, you need the uh, EQs, they call it, they'll let you know what EQs are all about. Um, EQs are just high, they give you the highs, mid range, and the low range. Uh, for the sound of the microphones or the guitar, whatever your instrument you can hook up to. Um, and these are mixing consoles. They could be, uh, it depends on how many inputs you want this thing to have. Do you want it 32? Do you want it 16? Do you want it 12? Uh, this is for microphones or instruments. Um, so it depends on how many inputs this thing takes. Uh, according to how many microphones do you want on it, uh, to have inputs in it, uh, to, um, They'll, uh, if you go on YouTube, they'll show you about these mixing consoles. These are just mixing consoles like you and I could have at home. Um, and depends, it depends on the inputs. How many inputs do you want to this thing? Do you want it 16 inputs? Do you want 32 inputs? Do you want it 10? Uh, the lower, as they say, the lower th the number goes, the less size it is, essentially. Uh, if you want 32, you're gonna, it's gonna be a big mixing board. Big size mixing board. Uh, and it does a lot of things. Now, the features that you're always asking people, how many, uh, what kind of features do you want this thing to have? Uh, do you want Bluetooth? Do you want to have Bluetooth on your mixing console? Like, uh, Bluetooth ready? Uh, you can do that through this mixing console. Now, these are name brands out in the industry. Um, and you're saying to yourself, what, what kind of inputs do I need on this thing? Well, you need XLRs, photo jacks, you need, uh, what the industry is so called is they say industry wants you to have. Uh, uh, they'll give you the special, so you don't need a big mixing uh, board. It, it's like in the early 80s, they would have these big mixing boards. Like you go to the studio, record an album, big giant size of the room. And uh, if you go to stores, they have small mixing consoles. They'll, if you go to these uh, t so called tech, uh, Every year, they'll tell you what, they'll explain what these new, new tech toys are all about. And uh, tech toys are mean, uh, instruments, like electronic stuff. And, uh, yeah, uh, just remember, it, d it depends on what you want, and they'll explain it to you once you, they'll show it to you, and they'll tell you how many inputs there are in these things. And, uh, yeah, so, and these are name brands, uh, associate with these things. Uh, you have the Soundcraft, you have uh, Prius, they call it Prius Mixer, these are name brands on the mixing consoles. Uh, it says right on the mixing console, the name brands. Uh, and one other thing that you got to look out for is the task caps. Uh, they always mention about the so-called task caps. Uh, back in the day when you have tapes, remember tapes, cassette tapes? Uh, 
uh, uh, Tascan had a cassette machine, uh, was not widely used in the world, but uh, it's, a, uh, it's an eight input uh, Tascam with a cassette, and you record this on eight uh, tracks. Uh, so, but only the tape would have stereo input, so when he records to it, it only has stereo heads. Uh, so, so that's the uh, possibility there. So just, these are just name brands out of the industry. And Soundcraft, a lot of people who don't know about, uh, is a British mixer. A British mixer. Um, they're, they're legendary, uh, I forget what they're called, the legendary uh, mixers they have out today. But they're British mixers. They're not uh, American made. They're British mixers. And they're supposed to be legendary, apparently, according to the... Uh, the guys that make these things. Um, and uh, yeah, so all name brands do a lot of things, a lot of uh, things you want for your... Um, uh, the one I've been here recently, and it's supposed to be great, it's the, this Task, uh, well, Tascam Model 12. You'll hear it a lot on YouTube. Uh, this has a production value all written over it. Uh, uh, it has multi-track. Now, you're saying to yourself, what's a multi-track? Well, multi-track is you do it, you send it to different inputs on your uh, when you play it back. So you send it, it's a multi-track, it'll do the multi-tracking to your song. So it'll do multi-track, you know, like a singer, you'll hear the singers, not the drums or the guitars, you just hear the singer. Uh, so that's multi-track. So uh, the word they would use on the mixing calls would be MTR, which is a multi-track recorder. And uh, these are, uh, it'll say all the mixing consoles are um, uh, multi-tracked. Now don't, don't get all worried about it. Uh, this is just, uh, and you always go in these stores and you see these big mixing boards. They're big size of the room. And uh, just remember, there. it depends on what kind of inputs, how many inputs you want. Uh, do you want 32? Do you want 12? Do you want 16 inputs on the same? Uh, and these are XLR based. Remember, they, they have the high impede, high gain, they call it high gains. Uh, they give you that good sounding microphones. And they have uh, input gains, they have input gains, uh, so you can adjust the input gains. And they'll have uh, uh, one compression knob. Uh, now, the one compression knob, a lot of people don't know, it gives you that sweet spot sound. Uh, so. Uh, gain is just when the input goes in the inputs. Uh, so it comes in hot, as they call it. It comes in hot with the XLRs, and you got to gain it. They call the knob being gained. Uh, you got to he hear that in your in your headphones or out of the speaker system. You got to hear. Uh, just make sure your volume's down low before you put it cranked up. Uh, so. Always put the gain levels at zero until you hear the microphone being on. That's the only key to that. Yeah. Until you hear the microphone be in your headphones or speaker system. Yeah. And always have it down as your, and then you turn it up slowly. Just turn it up slowly until you hear the microphone on. And that's, that's the, that's like the tutorials. Uh, but on the mixer, I'll give you tutorials on it. Uh, so you'd be well aware of this when you buy these mixing consoles. Um, they have gain on them. They have a compression, one compression knob. That means uh, if it was separated from different knobs on it, uh, it has a threshold, uh, how much audio goes through it. Uh, uh, that's the threshold. That'll give you the threshold sound. Uh, uh, so how much sound you want to go through the system. Yeah. So there you go. That's the, that's the compression knob. Uh, it's like a channel strip. You ever, you ever heard of people talking about channel strips? Well, this is channel strips. Uh, so the input comes in hot, so it needs to have a gain level, so on the microphone, and, uh, the EQ, sometimes with EQs they come with either four EQs, they give you the highs, mid-range with two knobs, mid-range two knobs, um, and the lower knob would be the lower, uh, the extremities, as they would say, the lower extremities, <laughs> you know, the booming sound on the microphones, uh, and, uh, and all the way down, it's a, uh, the pan. They, uh, it's centered, or you want right and left. Right and left is like right, uh, right and left sound to it. Um, 
And all the way, so it's a channel strip. All the way down is a channel strip. Uh, until you hit the faders. And uh, these are mixing consoles. You'll, you'll recognize them if you go into music stores. Uh, and don't be, don't be worried about what they do, okay? I'm just giving you tutorials on what they, is possibilities you can use this for. Uh, uh, but, and sometimes, sometimes you'll have a built-in recording thing, like an SD card, so you can record it to an SD card. Uh, these are great for meetings or something to event that you're doing. And imagine if you had a meeting at, a, at an office, imagine yourself at an office and you need to record this meeting. Uh, this would be the ultimate thing to do with. Uh, um, the one that people uh, people were, were 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 highly recommend was that uh, Soundcraft mixer. Uh, it's a 24 input mixer. It's a legendary mixer. Apparently, they're touted as such, uh, and it has about about 24 inputs. That's XLRs, 24 XLRs in. Uh, so 24 microphones, so 24 of your closest friends will have microphones. Uh, each one of them will have microphones. That's the inputs. Uh, and everybody's saying different things, but you can mute their microphones any, at any given time. Separate, separate microphones, you can mute them. So it's, it's quite handy. It gives you a lot of options there. And, uh, and you, rec you record them. You can record them in separate microphones. Uh, so if one doesn't really want to be recorded, that's okay. It can be main off, the other one can be on. And, uh, yeah, just remember, these are n name brands out in the industry. Uh, so it depends on how many inputs you want on this thing. If you want 32, 24, 16, or 12. It depends on how many inputs you want for the microphone. Uh, and if you were thinking about future use of this thing, you may want to use 24 inputs for future use. So just be well aware of that. If you're, if you're thinking for the future and you want to have your closest friends to be on those microphones, you need at least uh, at least 16 or 24 uh, mixer. That's if you're in your budget. Uh, if you can afford that, you can get that. So like I said, the task I'm going to tell, tell, uh, tell about is this uh, newer one that's just coming out this year ago. Uh, they're telling it as a task cam model 12. They'll mention that for you. Uh, it's supposed to be a production, uh, production, uh, of the industry. It has, it has Bluetooth, by the way, in case you're wondering. It has Bluetooth on it. So, it's, uh, wirelessly, it's not wired, it's wirelessly, so you can, any mobile device that has Bluetooth enabled, as they would say, in the industry, uh, you can use this with. Uh, any, any Apple or any, uh, Android phone has capability of using Bluetooth. Uh, it's just, it's just wirelessly done. It's wirelessly done. Uh, so, you, uh, so you can pipe this into your mixer uh, with any music that you want to play out there uh, through your Bluetooth. And you can have it go through the mixing console, have it uh, recorded if there was some event you were doing from Bluetooth. And it's, it's all done by wirelessly. Uh, uh, it's like, it's, like, it's like, sort of like the internet, it's wirelessly. So it's like the same thing as Bluetooth. Uh, so yeah, uh, this will be a, uh, a great mixing console. You, I highly recommend. I'm not kidding. Many people highly recommend this before me. So go get it. Uh, it only has about 12 inputs, 12 microphone inputs. That's the only problem. Uh, the higher the number goes, the higher the microphones you'll have. Uh, so if you have 32 friends in your close circle, you're gonna have those three 32 microphones. Uh, in your closest friends. So, I'm just I'm trying to give you a tutorial on it. Uh, so, it's just, for, if you're going to use it for future use, and you have 32 friends, of your closest friends, you're going to have each microphone, that would be it. Uh, and this thing will do it, if you have 32 microphones. But not all, everybody uses 32 microphones, it's just, it's capable of doing that. Uh, so, remember, these are channel strips. These are all the way down to the faders. So you get EQ, you start from the gain levels. First of all, as soon as it goes into the inputs, you need to gain it, gain the microphones. So that's the, how you work as that, all the way down. So all, it's like a channel strip, all the way down to the, the faders. Yeah. 
And uh, the way, uh, if you're not familiarized with mixing console, I'll give you tutorials on it. Uh, so they have a lot of features, these mixing consoles. Be well aware of that. Uh, so the o only thing you got to be uh, noticed is the gain levels on microphones. That will give you, uh, so you can hear the microphones really good. So it doesn't feed back through the microphones. Uh, so, so all you have to do is just adjust it until you get the right volume on the microphone. Uh, it's just like you're just, uh, it's like, uh, just tweaking up, it's like tweaking up the microphone sound. Uh, until you get the great level of your microphone sound through your headphones. Uh, so yeah, it's like, they call it the sweet spot sound. Um, and you should be good, you should be good for that. And, um, like I said, this is only tutorials. If you want a tutorial, this is, you come to the right place. Uh, so yeah. And this whole thing will do recordings. It'll do on on the board recordings. You don't need an external computer if you're wondering that. Uh, you don't have to. It's like they say you, you could if you wanted to, but like I said, it has on board recording. So you don't need an external uh, computer for it. A lot of uh, a lot of mixers out today need external computers to record off the mixing console. Uh, so, some mixers will come with a built-in recording device on it. Uh, so, they usually mention if it's a USB-based or SD card. Either way, it's going to record. Uh, so, th this is audio only, audio only, no visuals. And, uh, yeah, it's my recommendation. A lot of people recommend, recommend all these mixing consoles out today. And this is an industry-leading industry out there. Uh, so, these are name brands. If you hear these name brands, they must be good, right? Uh, they tell as such. Uh, the Soundcraft, that support has a uh, multi track It's multi track mixer board. Uh, so, yeah, it's like, it's like if you recorded an album, it's gonna be multi track uh, Yeah. So, don't be worried, don't worry, it's only on the playbacks you'll get the multi track So, yeah. So be well aware of this. These are just name brands that they, uh, and yeah. So be well, there's a lot of name brands out there. It depends on your preference. That's what I'm saying to you people out there. It's all about your preference and how many microphones you want on this mixing console. Do you want 12 uh, inputs for your microphones? Do you want uh, 16 inputs or 32 inputs? Uh, it depends on what you want uh, for this thing to be. Um, if you want it for your future use, you would have to have 16 inputs uh, for you and your and uh, other people around you. Uh, so, but also if you're having an instrument and you want to play guitar, acoustic guitar, or electric guitar, this would be great for that. Uh, if you're doing a live performance, these mixing consoles are done for live performances as well. Uh, so if you're uh, if you're on the go and you want to do a live performance, you want to record on the fly, they call it. You could do it with these mixing boards. So yeah, just be well aware that a lot of mixing boards they have onboard recording. That means onboard recording. You need an SD card. And they'll recommend what SD card you need for it. Um, and or some of them will you have to have external computer to record them on, which is kind of because uh, you're. That's not always great when you don't have an external computer. Uh, so that's why they're uh, making these mixing consoles to have built-in re recording, onboard recording things. So if you don't have an external computer, don't worry, because uh, it supplies the recording device on it. And recording your sessions, your musical sessions, like uh, say you're doing a demo and you need a recording device, this will be obsolete for this. And uh, you're just doing a demo, you're doing your demo and your song, and uh, this will be great, this will be great. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people are talking about all this stuff, so they give you tutorials on this stuff. And yeah, my recommendations are great, just uh, it depends on the user, what, what type, what, how many microphones you want on this thing. Do you want 16, 12, or 32? 32 will give you 32 microphones, 16 will give you 16 microphones. It, it, the, bigger, the bigger the microphone, the bigger the thing is going to be. Uh, so if you're going to 12, it's going to be a lot smaller. It's going to be tabletop size board. Uh, so, just go try, uh, just, if you're going to a music store, ask for these mixing cons, name brands, and just say, oh, hey, I want so-and-so. Uh, 
of Prius. I want uh, some craft that you have for your mixing console. And uh, they'll ask for how many, uh, how many inputs do you want this thing to have. Well, I want to have 16, 24, 32 inputs. That's for the microphones and what you need it for. That's what they'll ask you in the music stores. And if you don't know how to use this thing, they'll, they'll give you a tutorial kind of thing. Uh, they'll ask you what you want it for. Do you want it for microphone inputs? Do you want it for your instruments, your guitaring, your, uh, if you're working on demos, sometimes they'll have multi-track and you can ask the person how you do this multi-tracking. Because uh, you're going to have multi-track on this thing. Right off the hop kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, so it, it works for both ways. And the music industry loves to get you guys to get, have multi-track recording devices. So you can do all your multi-tracking recordings. And be well aware of that. So it's essentially a uh, tutorial on how to buy the right equipment. And most importantly, the, the key to all this is buying the right speaker system for it. Uh, now, people always suggest that you get powered speakers. Uh, now, these range a different price range, uh, to the expensive to the unexpensive. It depends on if you what type of uh, uh, powered speakers do you want. Do you want XLR speakers? And uh, see, on the outputs, they would have XLRs. XLRs would be your powered speakers. So they create that sound, or you can go through a, a photo jacks. Remember, this is just the system alone. Anyway, what I'm trying to get for you folks is, uh, it depends on the user, uh, what they want these mixing costs to have in their life. And remember, this is for long periods of time. So, but the end user, they always call it by the end user. So this is, this is great for all your multi-tracking uh, songs you want to have out there, like the big industry would love you to have. Yeah, it's like a, it's like if you're doing a multi-track song, it's going to sell that great. It's going to be enhanced audio. Uh, so yeah, just be well aware that if you're buying mixing consoles, uh, please, I'm asking you guys, this is the industry, these are CEO people of these companies. And these are the guys that make these mixing consoles. You'll see it on the mixing consoles themselves, the main brands. Yeah, it's like your, um, Pioneer DJ. Remember those brand names, Pioneer DJ here? A lot on the DJ equipment. Yeah. Uh, that's for DJs who were serious about DJ. I kid you not. So it's a name brand and they stick behind their equipment. So there you go. I'll be back after this, after this commercial break. Don't touch that dial. We'll come right back in this commercial break. Alright, I wanna get I wanna get back to a serious topic now, okay? So we'll be right back at this commercial break. Stay tuned, don't touch that down. I'm gonna tell you a lot more about equipment these days. Alright, so be well aware this is highly recommended stuff. If you're in the music industry, you should remember what type of equipment you need. And power speakers are only meant for uh, the outputs uh, to your speakers. Um, this is what the industry wants you to have, essentially, if you have the money for it. Yeah. Uh, it depends on what your budget is. You know, they range from expensive to the non-expensive. And you get, you get good powered speakers, you know, in a price range you appreciate. Yeah, these are only powered speakers that have had XLRs on the inputs. That's what you want your powered speakers to have. In, uh, the input should be xlr so that would be the powered speakers. They'll, they'll say it on their speakers there, powered speakers, and uh, that's from the uh, from the output from the mixing console out to into the um, uh, powered speakers. And it's just one wire, one wire, back and forth. Yeah. And uh, that's for the master audio. They call it the master audio. So that's what uh, what you hear on the outputs. So, anyway, I, I've said a lot, I just want to give you guys the heads up on this. And uh, TV stations, and a lot of TV stations, a lot of radio stations use this kind of equipment. But they usually use it in a big mixing console. You'll see them, they're big, uh, big, uh, they're, they take up the size of the room. 
And uh, just to do, uh, remember they have a lot of inputs, these things, a lot of inputs, 40 inputs sometimes. Uh, it's, it's, it's a fascinating for a lot of people. If you're ever in a music studio, uh, you'll see them. Yeah. It's very fascinating. <laughs> you'll be overwhelmed about this. So, and uh, if you're a music producer, you want to have all the inputs you can get. So, and sometimes these mixing boards cost into the thousands. So, be well aware of that. Uh, I'll give the ins and outs of mixers and recommendation. Just go with what you feel best. If you want to have 12 inputs in your mixer, go right ahead. It's a small mixer, you know, the size of the table. Yeah, do it. It's, it's great. It's great for uh, meetings that you want to have. This is great. And you record on the fly. You don't need an external computer for it. You know, like with the uh, USB. You can, it's, it has a built-in recording thing it's uh, on on the thing like onboard recording so if you want to record this meeting you can do that and uh have it recorded for your podcast Remember, ma imagine that podcast show yeah. so everything is possibilities there's always possibilities in this group and stuff stuff sometimes just only uh, you gotta ask the guys in the stores what do you want it for do you want it for instruments do you want it for your microphones do you want it for uh uh, multi-track, you know, we could do it for multi-tracking. And it does have Bluetooth, by the way, if you're wondering. Uh, so, it's like, uh, it's like any recording, you don't need an external computer for it. Uh, say, uh, say, do I need an external computer? No, you don't have to. Uh, so, you can record it right onto the, uh, on the mixing console. It has recording, uh, feature on board of this thing. So, yeah. And it'll be like it'd be like you doing a podcast show. So be well with that, and that's what the industry is like. And um, my recommendation, it could be different like yours. You know, it depends on what you want it for. Yeah. Do you want if you want it to be in your future mixer? Well, there's a lot of options there. So there you go. Remember, it's only good as the mixer itself. So, if you want Bluetooth, Bluetooth, it was just, it's like your wireless internet. Uh, you know, it's like a Bluetooth, you just, uh, on any mobile device that has Bluetooth enabled, uh, enable, any Bluetooth uh, device. You pipe in music and then sing along if you want. Imagine doing karaoke, imagine that. Yeah. Favorite song. Anyway, anyway, everything is possible in this day and age, you know? So there you go, folks. I'll let you for your old device. And um, I'm going to say uh, this is a commercial. We'll come back to commercial. And then we'll take a break, okay? <laughs>